Welcome. Today what I'm going to show you is a program I started to use which is not a clone of Photoshop. Well, maybe it could be considered a clone, but it it's a lot cheaper than Photoshop and it's a little I think it's a little bit better than GIMP. You know, of course, everyone has their pros and cons to it. It's called Piximator. I will add in the show notes the link to it. But as you can see when you open, you get basically it's native to the actual Mac OS. Here of some of the palettes that you can have. And you can, you know, use an open existing image. You can click on create. Kind of the same type of Photoshop type layout. Well, let's do 600 by 600. The one thing I did notice is you, you can't set the background to transparency. Um, it's going to come in white. Now, the one thing I did play with, because uh, of course I'm still playing with this, is if you take a look here at the opacity, you just created transparency. The, you know, granted, yeah, Photoshop's a little bit easier, or, you know, you do it in the first step. But, I mean, this basically has almost all the same tools Here's a full screen mode, so you kind of don't need, if you don't need top and you're working, that's kind of nice. You know, right here you have your add layers button where you can add your layers. You can delete your layers. What I'm going to do here is just grab the oval tool, old shift. Yes, shift will work. You do have that tool. And we can have the paintbrush, and we can fill that in. Now, the one thing I noticed is you, with Photoshop, you did a lot of, you know, holding, um, like right-clicking or holding down to bring some things. That's not something they really done here. Uh, you can go up here to filters. They have filters, maybe not as much as... Um, Photoshop has, but as you can see, you can use the slider, you know, so that's one type of filter, we can go to blur, I know motion blur, of course, is a huge tool used in Photoshop, and there you go, you kind of got a glowy type effect, we can let's come over here actually let's add some text and we can go here here's show fonts which brings up the typical Mac if you've ever used a Mac you you know you've you've kind of been adjusted to this. Now, like I said, there, there, there's a lot of nice things, but the one thing I really, really noticed is there's no, at least I haven't found it yet, uh, and again, I'm still learning. I just thought I would show this, this nice program for Mac, but I've not found an FX feature to where you can kind of add like drop shadowing, uh, different things like that to to the text. That's that's one thing I kind of you know really really want to look for when it comes to the program. But again, this is just a basic tutorial of, uh, of just going around, you know, showing you know showing what what's capable of being done. You know some of the tools. Here's the transform tool. And we'll just say crop. And there you see we cropped it. So there, there's a lot of tools. Like I said, on the side under the description, I will put the URL to the website. They do have a demo so you can install the demo the demo 
I, as far as I know, I mean, when I use the demo and I actually purchase the program, I have not seen a huge amount of difference. It doesn't add anything. The demo is just a time demo. So, but thank you for watching this tutorial. If you like this tutorial or my other tutorials, please subscribe. Thank you.